of the things for which we pray, neither do we deserve them. But God gives them all to us out of his own fatherly divine goodness and mercy. This is the crux. This is the cross of the Lord's Prayer, where it all comes together. This is our theology. For in the cross of Jesus, the Lord takes away all of our sin. He rips it from us and drowns it and kills it. There is no enemy that is triumphant over him. In fact, even death has been destroyed by him. For on the third day when he rose again, he was victorious even over the grave. Which means that if he is victorious over all of these enemies, death, the devil, our sin, the world, and our sinful nature, then you're victorious too because he has claimed you. He has put his name upon you. And so in that cross, our sins have been ripped apart into little pieces as far as the east is from the west. They have been taken from us. And so he bids that you forgive. For even the sins that have been sinned against us don't have power and mastery over us anymore. They too have been destroyed by Jesus' cross. Now, we like to keep them. We like to hold grudges. We like to have ammunition against those who hurt us. But the cross undoes this. The cross unravels it. It is the power of our God in the midst of his people to mend and to make new, to gather us together and to bind us together. So as he forgives us, so also we forgive those who sin against us. And not like we would like with Peter saying, oh, seven times? No, even more than that, infinity times. There's not a single time that he wouldn't want us to forgive, and thus he bids us do. The cross is our life. The cross is everything about us. It is our mark, our eternal life, our salvation. This is how our God lavishes us with his love. And gives us, in the midst of that buying back, that stealing us away from the devil again, so that we can be his own, that's how he shows us his love, his mercy, and his grace. Thanks be to God that he has done this great and, thing, and wonderful thing for us. We who were unworthy, now are great in the sight of the Lord, for he has clothed us in his righteousness and forgiveness.